true that Islamic banking in Mauritius is still at its nascent stage, so um, I'm sure Joaris will agree with me. To set up a full-fledged full Islamic bank does require lots of investment, so that's a major maybe hurdle to, to fully uh, to have that Islamic bank. But having said that, it's true that what is good about central bank's guidelines, it's really regulating even windows, because windows do have to have a separate uh, balance sheet, separate P&L, and a separate branch, for example, HSBC, we've set up a separate branch completely, different nostril with funds, and we, we have to ensure that funds do not mix up with conventional. So even all our products and services and the way we deploy our funds, our account opening form, these bank statements, are all needs to be Sharia compliant and are vetted by the Sharia board. So maybe this, I mean, to set up an Islamic bank really it requires huge investment, but I think as a start, I think it's a good one to, to start by a window. And having said that, just an example, even HSBC in Malaysia, we set up initially as a window, and then now it's a full-fledged Islamic bank. So I think it's a step to, to start the, the whole process. Assalamualaikum again. <clears throat> the Islamic window is, I would say, important economic point of view. Malaysia started in 1963. We have one um, full-fledged bank called Bank Islam of Malaysia, Islamic Bank of Malaysia. And after that, oh, we started with a full-fledged bank. And after that, we allow Islamic window. And 30 years after that, everybody has to do full-fledged. Why? Because uh, it's an impetus. It's disempowering. I totally agree. Because there's always an element of us thinking that money will co-mingle with, with the conventional money. Yes, we have uh, regulations, Sharia board, Sharia advisors, making sure that the money is invested in a proper manner. But there's always, there's, there will always be skeptical in our mind. Um, we always be skeptical that the money will be invested in a non-Sharia manner. But it is important for the growth of an Islamic market in a certain country where it is very new to that country. Um, it, it is all individual. If you ask me whether I'll put my money in an Islamic window, I will. Because I respect the Sharia scholars. I believe that they are a certain level to become a Sharia scholar. And uh, I believe that when they do the annual review or quarterly review or biannual review, they will make sure that the money doesn't come and go. The issue arises, the sensitive issue arises when Qatar suddenly announced that you don't, banks can have any Islamic window at all. There's a lot of skepticism after that issue. People were saying, oh, because one of the banks in Qatar actually commingled the money and Qat Qatari Central Bank actually um, f found that one day when they did the inspection. Nobody knows whether it's true or not. But, you know, that's, that's the rumours. It could be true. Uh, to avoid that, you need to have a good discipline. HSBC has shown that uh, with a very good discipline, de demarcating the balance sheet, demarcating the uh, fund managers actually investing the money. Um, but if you look at economic point of view, you cannot run away from Islamic window f to begin with. When the market mature later on, we don't know how many years market in Mauritius will mature, then everybody has to do a full flash rather than Islamic window. Yeah. Uh, maybe I could add something to that. Uh, okay, uh, let me share my experience in setting up a bank from scratch. Uh, I, again, I, I believe uh, cost is the main issue uh, in coming up with a full flash bank or a window. Could be one of, one of the factors. Uh, to give you an idea how much it is to set up a, a bank, uh, you need at least a minimum of $10 million investment to start with. Yeah? You need to spend about uh, at least, uh, yeah, uh, in Mauritius, yeah? uh, I'm talking about uh, the, the local market here. You need to spend at least uh, 6 $7 million just for your core banking system another three, four hundred thousand just to implement that. And again, uh, you need to bear in mind that the bank will be running at loss for the next two, three years. So in total, in total, you need a big investment.
investment to start an Islamic bank. Bearing that in mind, uh, you need a strong sponsor yeah, to, to, to back up your, 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 your venture. Yeah? It, it is not going to be cheap. It's going to be ex expensive. It's not going to be profitable for the next two years. Uh, but again, it is not impossible. It is possible. Yeah? Thank you. Mr. Mudir, excuse me. Uh, I know there may be uh, some uh, very important questions, uh, but I have a, a very humble uh, request. Since the next speaker is Dr. Myron, she'll be catching her flight in the, in the, in the afternoon. Uh, if we could have uh, leave the questions for other, uh, the other session. All right, um, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, you can ask the speakers or the panels uh, later on. And um, I hope that we have got some very good insight um, with regard to the development of Islamic Bank and finance in Mauritius. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have reached the fifth session on uh, Islamic banking models. Uh, I would invite, uh, first of all, Mr. Nick uh, Joaris Nick Ahmed to chair the session to have the concluding remarks afterwards. Mr. Uh, Dr. Al Siddiq Talha Muhammad Rahma, who will uh, be having the second session after. And now I invite Dr. Mahiran Mohammed Jafar, Associate Professor, University Technology Mara, Selangor, Malaysia. She will talk on the application of the new Musharraka model, Islamic banking products. Surprisingly, uh, Dr. Mahiran is from Mathematics Department and Computer Department. But uh, the application of mathematics and computer in Islamic finance will be very interesting especially about the new model based on the Musharraka, which is the partnership uh, mode. So please, uh, Dr. Myron. Thank you, Mr. Razak, uh, our chairman. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Allah for, being, uh, for giving me the chance to be here with all the constraint and all the things that comes along the way. And um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank the committee for inviting me and um, and uh, meeting all of you, okay, brothers and sisters. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, I guess this is the presentation uh, from me, uh, and I'm really from the mathematics department, and uh, I've uh, I've done this uh, research uh, during my PhD, uh, which is. Uh, in uh, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. At the moment, or currently, I'm uh, teaching mathematics in University Technology Mara Malaysia. And um, the reason that we're having or look into all this uh, new mathematics model is because uh, at that point in time, me and the supervisor, we believe that if we have, if we're going to have any formulas or any equations that we're going to use with the Islamic values, why should we use the conventional equations that is uh, introduced by using the interest values? But again, mathematics is just a tool. Do not get me wrong. Eh? It is just a tool or hammer. You just use to do anything or to come, with, come up with whatever products that you want, okay, regardless, regardless whether it is uh, an equity finance product or... Uh, whatever products that you are interested in. Okay, that's will, that will be the content of my uh, presentation. Uh, some introduction, and then what's the background problem uh, regarding uh, Musharraka. And then I will introduce to you the Mushar new Musharraka model. So I'm sure you are ready for some mathematics class application uh, in uh, as a Musharraka product. And then some results and discussion, and what is usefulness and benefits to the society, as well as the conclusion. 
Okay, the introduction, uh, all of you in this room, I guess, uh, very well know that Islamic banking has emerged as a significant uh, system uh, in the, all around the world, okay, and as in Malaysia as well, okay, and uh, it has become very popular. Uh, at the meantime, uh, especially in Malaysia, most of the banks, it's a top-down uh, kind of uh, act whereby our central bank has uh, practically ordered all the banks to come up with a dual bank. And some of the banks, like the HSBC Amana, has turned into a full-fledged bank. Okay, hence, we actually we want to provide an alternative uh, products which is competitive to the uh, conventional products. So, because there are a lot of Muslims who would like to have the Islamic products to get away from all this uh, riba. <clears throat> and in order to get away from all those, uh, to have an interest-free products, so definitely we'll use some concepts like the loan financing contracts, we have the buy vitamin R jail, which is the deferred payment sale, and then we have murabaha, cost uh, plus uh, profit, I'm sure the Al Baraka, they are doing a lot of Murabaha product. We have the Wadi'a, savings with uh, guarantee, as well as Ijara, uh, which is also dealing with leasing. But there is the another one, which is.